Today we have a phone that everybody's talking about right now. We have the new one by Google. This one is called the Google Pixel 6 Pro. There's two versions of this, guys. There's the non Pro and there's the Pro version. This one costs around thousand bucks. The other one costs around eight hundred bucks. Supposedly this phone has some sick camera in here. It's like some crazy camera on this phone. So what we're gonna do today, guys? Let's go unbox this. See how the phone looks like. Then come back here. I'm gonna let you guys know everything you need to know about this phone. Let's go. So you get cables and a manual book here, guys. Let you guys know one thing first. This phone is really heavy. It's not a light phone at all. This has got some weight on it. But usually phones like this with weight on it, really good built. And this phone comes with some sick, sick specs. So you got top-notch display, top-notch uh, chipset, camera, everything, guys. Unbelievable specs. Let's go check out the specs first before we start this whole video. Built, you got glass front, glass back, you got uh, IP68 dust and water resistance up to 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. You have 6.7 inch LTPO AMOLED display, 120 hertz, HDR10, 1440 times 3120 pixel is always on display. Platform is running on Android 12. For chipset, you got Google Tensor 5mm quad core. For camera, for the rear, you got 50 MP f1.9, 26 millimeter wide. You got laser AF OIS. You got 40 MP f3.5, 104 millimeter telephoto. You got four times optical my zoom. You got 12 MP f2.2, ultra wide. Phone can record 4K 60, and it comes with video stabilizer. Selfie camera, you got 11.1 MP f2.2 20 millimeter ultra wide, can record 4K 30. Battery, you got 5000 milliamp, you got a fast charge of 30 watt, 50% in 30 minutes, you got fast wireless charging, 23 watt, and you got reverse wireless charging. You got on display fingerprint scanner, and it comes with Google Pay. There's something that I don't like about this phone, guys. If you can see this camera bump, I just want to show you guys the bump, look at that. Look at this, look how big that is. Look at that. Look at this side of it. And that's the front of it. You put this on the table, look at the way it sits. Like look at that, it's like sitting like this. Like then you have to worry about scratching the back of the camera. Some people don't like to put a case on the phones. Like me, I like to show off my phone without the case. So for me, it's gonna be pretty bad to put this on a flat surface or on a table or somewhere. And if you move it around a little bit, you're gonna scratch that camera. So make sure you do buy a case for this phone and buy a good case. Cause this phone looks like it's very fragile. And this phone comes uh, with on display fingerprint scanning. The fingerprint scanner on this phone, I wasn't that happy with it because it's not touchy. So if you go like this, it's not gonna open. So you gotta put your hand there and press it a little bit. I'm gonna show you guys. So if you tap it like this, not gonna work like some other phones. The, when you, as soon as you touch it, it's gonna unlock the phone. But this one, not gonna do it. So you gotta go like this, press it like that. See that? Go, press it like that. So if I go like this, not gonna work. Make sure you press it. I like the back of this phone. Look at the back guys, it's got that little curve in the back, it's not that big, but it suits the phone. That's what makes this phone look really good. And you got that front display as well too, with a little um, uh, uh, curve as well too. But when I was using this phone, I was taking pictures with it, I noticed a uh, floss in this phone. So when I was holding it like this guys, I was taking pictures with it. When my hand, my thumb, sorry, was touching a little bit of the display, I couldn't press the button of the uh, camera to take the pictures. So I had to move my finger a little bit to press the button to take the pictures. Let me show you guys exactly what I mean. So if you try to take a picture, if you don't have like a case on it, make sure you don't touch the side of the screen here because uh, if you try to take pictures, it's gonna be a little bit uh, hard because it's not gonna let you take the picture. So make sure you don't touch the screen too much when you're taking the picture on the sides here. So the chipset is called uh, Google Tensor uh, 5mm. Supposedly it's fast, it's snappy, and uh, it's quick. 
I tried it and it was fast, guys. This thing is fast to download anything, it's fast to play games with, it's very smooth. And the refresh rate on this phone is kind of um, uh, weird. It's not like every other phone. Every other phone you put it up about like 60 or 120, or if they have 90, you put it at 90. This one, you can switch it off, guys. There's a button, you switch, it jumps to 60 or it jumps to 120. But the display is very smooth. The way that the refresh rate works on this phone, guys, if you can see, it's right there. So it says 60 and 120. When you turn this off, it jumps to 60. When you turn this on, it jumps to 120. So right now we have it at 120. Let's check it out. Very, very smooth, guys. Look at this. For battery, guys, this phone under the hood has got 5,000 million battery. That's a pretty big battery for this phone. So 5,000 million battery, if you don't heavily, heavily use it, you should have a lot of usage of the phone. You should be able to use the phone for a whole day. But if you're heavily using lots of gaming, lots of video watching, taking lots of pictures or recording lots of videos, still should last you almost a whole day. So I did a uh, battery test on this phone. I actually forgot to charge it fully at nighttime. So I took it out at 70%. And I went out, did everything with this phone. I heavily used it. I used it for gaming, for camera, for everything. This is what I did, guys. So right now the battery is at 70%. And I'm gonna take it out, fully use it, like heavily, heavily use this phone. We're gonna see how long the battery is gonna last me. Then I'm gonna come back in four to five hours. We're gonna check in and we're gonna see how much is left on this phone. So I just got home, guys, after using this phone for almost uh, five, and a half hours heavily heavily using it let's see how much battery i got i was at 70 percent i got 52 percent right now that is crazy and this phone the nfc on it as soon as you uh, open it out of the box guys you boot it you go through all the bugging and all that kind of stuff it's gonna pop out right there nfc and it's gonna ask you google pay you want to set it up yes or no you can say no or yes if you uh, use nfc on this phone to pay with just press yes display on this phone I really like it because it's got that curve, but it's not that big. And the resolution on this phone is 1440 times 3120. So resolution, it's right up there, guys. But the display does not get that bright. It's like max brightness is not much on this phone. But if you're watching videos in this phone in 4K uh, HDR, you're going to enjoy it. Like I'm telling you, you actually will enjoy watching videos in this phone or playing games in it. Let's go watch a video on this phone so you guys can see the resolution and the speakers on this phone get quite loud enough. you guys this chipset on this phone is very very powerful so if you want to download something it's really quick and for gaming this phone this is a gaming phone i'm telling you it is actually a gaming phone that's how powerful this thing is how smooth it is you're gonna enjoy playing game you can throw any game at this phone this phone will handle it up there guys and uh, uh what do you call it first we're gonna go download a game and uh, we're gonna cut download call of duty so you guys can see how quick this phone is going to download it. Then we're going to play the game so you guys can see the gaming performance on this phone. Let's press this and time this. And I have 5G internet, guys, in here. I have the fastest internet you can ever get in Canada. Look how quick this thing is. On any other phone I tried it on, it's not as fast as this. Even Snapdragon 888 Plus wouldn't go this fast. It is 1.56 gigabyte. 
it's not a small game. Oh wow. Come on, less than a minute. Come on, less than a minute. Come on. One minute and all, four, all five guys. That's pretty good. This phone for camera, it's got a lot of features and the features on this phone is not like any other phone. You just go to settings and this and that. A little bit complicated, a little bit uh, weird. Like uh, the video recording in this phone, it's got so many features for the stabilizer. You got so many settings. So it's kind of, uh, you got to get used to it to use it. First, I'm going to show you guys some of the features for the camera this phone has. Then we're going to come back. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures and videos that I took with this phone. So for camera, I'm gonna show you guys quick features on this right now. So first, let's start with night mode. So you got your, uh, what do you call it, ultra wide. Does a pretty good job. Your one time, two time, and four time. Then uh, we got uh, motions. Same thing, ultra wide, one time, two time, four times. Then we're gonna go to portrait. The portrait on this is pretty good. So if you put something in front of it like this, look how blurry it gets the back of it. Look at that. It does a really good job, guys. And you got your one time and uh, two times. Then we got uh, camera. So camera, let's see the ultra wide. It does a pretty good job. I've seen better wide angle. And uh, let's go one time, two time, four times. And max is 20 time. 20 time on this phone is unbelievable. Look how clear it is in 20 time and no shake. Look at this, hardly any shake. That's crazy. Then we got video. So for video, you got your uh, slow motion, you got your normal mode. So I can take a video like this in normal mode in 4K. That's max on this phone. Then you got your uh, one time, two time, and max recording is seven times in a uh, video. Then we're gonna go to video stabilizer. So you got your standard video stabilizer, you got your lock video stabilizer, you got your active video stabilizer, and you got your cinematic. So all of these features, they do uh, different uh, modes. I did record in all of them and I'm gonna show them to you guys in a minute. Now we're gonna to go to our uh, modes. For modes you got your panorama, you got your uh, photo, and uh, you got your lens. Let's go back here guys. Let's see if uh, take a picture has any delays. No delay. So you can take as much as pictures you want guys without any delay. I took this phone out, actually used it, and I took a lot of pictures, a lot of videos. I wanted to try the camera, like really try the camera for you guys. And I took some pictures with this phone. I was looking at them after. The pictures come out so crisp. I used a lot of phones, guys. I'm telling you, I, I, I used a lot of phones, a lot of cameras. This phone takes some sickest pictures I've ever seen. And uh, these are the pictures that I took in 50 MP in uh, daytime, guys.
now we're gonna talk about the wide angle. The wide angle on this phone is not the greatest. I've seen better on other phones because it does not get that wide. Let me show you guys some pictures that I took in a wide angle on this phone. Now it's the same picture, but with the wide angle. Same with this one. Now we're gonna jump into the wide angle. And I took a picture in 20 times zoom. I'm telling you, any other phone that I take a, a picture when I'm zooming, fully zooming it at 20 times zoom, usually the picture, it moves around so much they cannot even see it. And when you take the picture, the picture comes out really bad. This phone, I was shocked. Imagine there's a bird on top of your neighbor's house and you wanna see what kind of bird it is, guys. Go 20 times zoom, you will zoom it right to the bird. And you, the picture come out so clear that you can tell exactly what it is. This is the pictures that I took in 20 times zoom, guys. Now I have it at 20 times zoom. Look how clear that is. Same house, 20 times zoom. The portrait on this phone, the portrait is awesome, guys. So the portrait, if you try to take a picture like this of something, the portrait's not gonna look that good. So pretty much you have to put something in front of it, focus it in, and then that nice blur is gonna come in the back, guys, and the picture's gonna pop out. It's gonna look awesome, guys. Let's look at some pictures that I took uh, with, uh, uh, what do you call it, with uh, portrait mode, guys. Now we're gonna talk about video recording on this one. I recorded a video in 4K60. The video, it is, I'm not gonna say nothing because that's how good the video quality is on this phone. If you try to record something, this is this phone, it is it, that's it, it's the best. And uh, if you're trying to close, uh, record close up, come out so crisp. I'm gonna show you guys some uh, videos that I took in 4K60 and some close up uh, videos that I took in 4K60 as well too. Now we're gonna talk about the video stabilizer. I think this phone has one of the best video stabilizers there is right now in the market. And I thought the uh, Vivo X70 uh, Pro Plus has a good video stabilizer because I almost got the gimbal. This one, that's it then. This is the best that I ever used yet. So I used this, uh, what do you call it? The lock uh, version of it. This video came out so perfectly, like it locks it in guys, like you're locked in. But if you move it like this, then your picture is gonna move with it. So make sure you're locked into something and you're recording, but you can run, you can jog, and it's gonna come perfectly. This is what I took in lock version, guys. Right now I'm locked in and I'm walking. Now I'm starting to run, running, running. Gonna churn. Running again, churning, running, churning. Make sure you're locked into something when you're using this. That's what's gonna happen when you turn it. Then I tried, uh, it's called active. Active means if you are uh, heavily, heavily movement or if you're running, jogging and you wanna record at the same time. So I put it on that uh, mode. And this is me running, jogging, moving, churning. Came out perfectly. Let's go look at that. Then we got cinematic. That's pretty much if you're trying to record like a movie 
uh, looking video or you want it to be like more uh, cinematic comes up crisp guys like if you try to record a YouTube video or uh, Instagram this one you the one that you need to use let's go look at that Now we're gonna talk about the selfie camera. That's where it gets really good, guys. The selfie pictures on this phone come out so crisp, guys. I was so impressed with them. And the uh, portrait mode as well, too, they come out really good. Let me show you guys some pictures that I took uh, of myself in selfie mode plus portrait mode. And if you want to record videos in selfie mode, oh my God, same thing guys, it's gonna come out nice and crisp as well too. They're gonna to look perfect to use for uh, uploading. Let's go look at a video that I recorded of myself uh, with selfie camera. The good thing is right now I'm doing a lot of movement. I'm holding it in my hand and I'm walking around. If you guys can see hardly any shakes or any cuts between the video. give you guys my actual opinion on this phone if you're into taking a lot of pictures a lot of videos or uh, you use your phone to make you YouTube videos or uh, Instagram or something like that this is the phone for that I'm, I, I'm actually gonna hardly recommend this the camera on this thing is one of the best cameras I use so far on anything display is really good and gonna enjoy watching videos on and for gaming highly recommended the only things that I just don't like it is just that display Make sure you put a case on it because it gets a little bit touchy and I don't like that big bump in the, ca the camera in the back. So obviously you gotta buy a case that actually sits like this. But overall this phone for the price, I think this phone is a steal. You guys let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Catch you guys in my next video.